Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. I'm Ricky Rackman. One of the fun things about this show is I get to meet a lot of new bands, and occasionally I get to have bands on that are sort of friends of mine. And do we look like we're doing like commercials for bandanas or that we just all had frontal lobotomies or something? Anyway, it's Joe Liste and uh, Tig Keller of the band Bang Tango. How you doing, guys? Great. Good. Now, you've got your new record out called Dancing on Coals. And in my opinion, the, the last record was pretty much a good straight-ahead rock and roll record. But this one, it shows a lot of different styles, and you guys have got a lot of different influences. Yeah, just a, you know, a chance to develop last year. After being on the road for the first time with the last record, it gave us a lot of you know, stuff to think about. And you know, we grew up a lot, too. But we wanted to um, reach out on the first one, but we didn't have the time or the money for one thing. But I think it you know, paid off anyway, because we got to do what we wanted a little bit more on this one. Do you feel that, like, personally you guys have changed a lot since the last record, and that's why the record maybe has matured a little bit? Uh, to some degree, yeah. You know, two years is a while. Yeah, because what... People can change in two years. Because what are some of the different things you did? I mean, I know you guys brought in strings and stuff like that. Yeah, we brought in strings, horns, uh, backup singers, and uh, just yeah, a few other diff different instruments and stuff. Like, for instance, in the song Midnight Struck, I mean, that's got definitely a real Stonesy vibe to it. I'm not saying that it's ripping off the Stones by any means, but without sounding exactly like a Stone song, it definitely reminds me of the Stones. Is there a lot of influences from the Rolling Stones? You can say something, yeah, Joe. There's, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Speak up, Joe. Oh, Ricky. There's a, they're influenced by the Stones. Yeah, there, we, have, we have our influences. I mean, the Stones, I mean, God forsake if anybody nowadays would rip off the Stones. But um, actually, we just like to spread ourselves out. That's all. All over the album we do it. You can find anything, any any probably genre of music. That goes what are the records? goes from funk to blues to, you know, everything. Yeah, it's like uh, the old saying about being a traditional song. Well, the Stones have been around for a long enough time that maybe they're traditional now. But we're talking about, you know, different influence. For instance, your bass player, Kyle Kyle, amazing bass player, and does some real funky riffs in it. Yeah, he's you know, a... I mean, it goes a lot of the, the, there were songs on the album go a lot of different ways. I mean, some are funky, some are blues. Kyle's got a really funky style, you know, he likes, he, he's like a machine, if you yeah, ask me, he, he can, can do play a lot anything, things, you know, yeah. he's, he's really good, and, and uh, he slap funks, he can play just straightforward blues, he's, he's definitely good. Cool. We'll be back uh, talking to the guys in Bang Tango, also going to be checking out their new video, Untied and True, right after these pretty important words, stick around. <laughs> Here with Joe Liste and Tig Kettler of the band Bang Tango. Again, they've got a brand new record out called Dancing on Coals. And the album cover looks a lot like The Dams. Same Sam guy. Sam Oh, really, is Same it? Guy. Same artist, yeah. yeah. Were you influenced by The Damned at all? Or? Not the band, Not but... so much the band. Just I mean, their album cover. He's done, he did uh, Dead or Alive. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he did, um, he did Dead or Alive, The Damned. He did Ozzy's No Rest for the Wicked. I just like Bob Carlos Clark. His yeah. artwork's really good. I have one of his prints at my house. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're after, something like dark and more gothic and kind yeah, of that. What are the kind of stuff you're into? I mean, for instance, hey. I mean, Lestat sounds a lot like the word Lestat. Are you into the vampire stuff a little bit? You've got um, a song called Dressed Up Vamp. Yeah. It all actually well, doesn't... You read the book. I read, I read the book. I read a couple of the books, but yeah. actually yeah. Um, Anne Rice is, is a great writer, but we... It, nothing, none of it intertwines or links together at all. I mean, it's just all coincidence. Dressed Up Vamp didn't have anything to do with the fact that I like the vampire books. Mm. Doesn't have anything to do with my name. It just all... If it was a movie, I mean, this is a compliment. I think you would play a great vampire oh. in a movie. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, break it up, guys. There's a hotel down okay, the street. Sorry. We're about to play the video <laughs> for um, Untied and True. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about that before we play it? Uh, well, it did feature my girlfriend, Melinda Starr, but they took it out, so I wish. Well, you know, we can't have those type of things here on MTV. I know, the, it, you know, you, you, you cross those bad. boundaries a little yeah. bit too much. You can't play. It's not it. that bad, but it's a cool video. You know, it's pretty slick. Well, let's check it out. Here's Bang Tango with Untied and True. That was Bang Tango with Untied and True, and we're back on the Headbangers Ball with Joe Lestay and Tig Kettler of the band Bang Tango. Is there anything you'd like to tell us uh, about the video? It's uh, exciting. Fantastic! It's things that make you go, mmm. <laughs> it's That's got what everything I was gonna say to about it. it. Yeah, it, it's a uh, it's a cool video. It's very slick, kind of surreal. It's, it's like we're in moody. an underground club, very moody. Yeah. yeah, and it we try to capture the vibe of the cover of the album in a way, 
and uh, it's pretty cool, you know. And I hope everybody likes it. It's it's kind of it's different for us. It's it's large compared to what we did yeah, before. Yeah, a lot or something. But it, it's a cool video, you know. Um, I'm actually looking forward to doing more of a live video soon, you know. But we got to create our own club. It's kind of the Bang Tango Underground Vampire Dark Style Club, you know. Now I've seen Bang Tango live countless times, too many times, no. And you guys are definitely a great live band. You come across good on the album. You come across. I like watching you better live than even hearing the record. Well, thank you. And um, you're going to be well, going out on the road pretty soon. I understand. Yeah, we're going out with Rat and L.A. Guns. We're looking forward to that. Tracy and everybody in L.A. Guns are good friends of ours. On and uh, I think whoever's going to go to that show, Flying seeing Squirrel. L.A. Guns and Bang Tango on the same stage, it's just going to be one big party festival. But you want to get there early because we are going to go on first. It seems like because, I guess, of the recession or not as many people going to concerts, that it makes the concert promoters put together much better shows. For instance, Rat and L.A. Guns and Bang Tango, that's a great show. Yeah, it's, you know? it's well worth it, you know. And so make sure you show up early to see And Bang I won't Tango. walk off stage either. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hopefully... Uh, We'll all look forward to seeing that show when it comes to your town. Right now, it's time for us to... Oh, and thank you very much for stopping by. Oh, anytime. Right now, we're going to be playing a video out of all the bands that I've interviewed. I probably have the most fun interviewing Lemmy. And right now, here is a debut from Motorhead, a song written about my hometown, L.A. This is Angel City.